I just wanted to thank you again for turning me into the judge. <laughs> now the whole jury is sequestered till Lord only knows when, and I am here in Motel Hell sharing a room with a woman with no lips. <laughs> Julia, I had to do it. We violated that law. By the way, I don't think you're supposed to be making telephone calls. I'd hate to have to report this, too. If I miss my dinner with Jimmy and Rosalind Carter because of this, you're gonna pay and pay big. I'm gonna find you and hunt you down like a dog. I'm talking about you running through the woods in the snow with bloodhounds ripping your clothes off. And remember, Charlene, I have your address. You'd be wise to ask yourself, do I know where my baby is? <laughs> Julia? Julia? You... Oh my gosh, you threatened Olivia. What did she say? She said she's gonna hunt me down like a dog and hire bloodhounds to rip my clothes off. <laughs> no, I, I, I thought the judge was just gonna give her a warning. I didn't know she'd be shut up in a motel room. Now, Suzanne, you know Julia. I mean, when this is all over, she'll realize I had to do it and, and, and forgive me, don't you think? I think you and your baby should get some black wigs on and get the hell out of town. <laughs> Maybe Bill could put in for a transfer. I hear there's a big base up in Greenland. <laughs> On second thought, Julia, you'd probably just strap some snowshoes to her pumps and track you down like caribou. <laughs> Didn't know Julia had this in her. Well, we all have things about ourselves that even we don't know. Yeah? Well, I don't know what to do. I mean, first you're mad at me because I didn't ask you to go on the record grab, and now Julia's mad at me because I did my duty as an American citizen. Now, Charlene, don't be upset. I'm not mad at you. Mary Jo, Mary Jo, I've decided that we're gonna split the records four ways so you can be in on it, too. You'll be there and root for us? Of course. You know, she's always getting all hepped up about some legal mumbo-jumbo. Like, like, tell me I can't park my car on the sidewalk at the mall or fire warning shots over the heads of those Jehovah Witnesses always coming on my door. She just loves all those technicalities. Probably having the time of her life. One for and one against. All right, that's seven to four. Who didn't vote? Well, Janice, what is the problem? Did you intend to mime your vote? I'm just not comfortable making a decision yet. I see. And yet you are perfectly comfortable smearing your face with white grease paint and annoying pedestrians all over Atlanta. Interesting. <laughs> no, really, Janice, I think it's time you came to a decision. As a matter of fact, I think it's time you all came to a decision. We've been here almost three days, and apparently you people have nothing better to do than to sit around here hogging up the taxpayers' money, eating baskets of fried cheese, and staying at the Fair Price Motel, which I understand some of you think is one of the nicest places you've been in a while. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. It is not the nicest place I have been in a while. And for your further information, I am having dinner with a former president and first lady of the United States tonight because we are all going to be out of here. And the reason we're all going to be out of here is that this case is very simple. Did any of you listen to the judge's instructions? He practically told us to acquit. The case is frivolous. The defendant was not negligent. Case closed. QED. Over and out. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more. <laughs> Go up to the table and mark your ballots. And if you don't mark them right, I'm going to rip that fire extinguisher off the wall and blow your overfed, underread, simple-minded butts out onto the Fair Price Motel parking lot. I don't think jury members are supposed to threaten each other. I don't appreciate that. Oh, really? <laughs> well, I don't appreciate your leaving your big old box of June Allison bladder pads on my nightstand for all the mates and bellboys to see. Of course, you don't care if you never get out of here. You don't even have to get up to go to the bathroom. <laughs> now, I am passing out these slips for the final ballot. And I want to tell you right now, read my lips. Mark your slip wrong, and I will wrap it around a fried cheese ball and shove it down your throat. <laughs>